you can't prepare for COVID. So when I say business were not prepared, it's simply because they didn't have the usual business continuity plans. Uh, even, if, even for those who had, uh, you, you couldn't have, I mean, imagine that it would come from uh, a pandemic. The challenge is that when the pandemic hit, many didn't know how to activate the business continuity plans in terms of ensuring that first you are sustaining the business in, in its current state, two, preventing deterioration, and three, strategizing to take advantage of any opportunity that may emerge, and, and many businesses failed in that regard. Everybody has been talking about COVID since March, and COVID, and COVID, and this is why we are here, we are talking about COVID. The COVID is just not the only thing happening. If you look at COVID as the only thing happening, it, it, it may be a mistake. Let me just give you a couple of examples. Between 2015 and now, the banking sector had had challenges until it was restructured. So businesses slowed down as a result of those who were relying on certain type of banks. So the financial sector had challenges. Once the financial sector was stabilizing, we had a situation where COVID hits. Then you have a situation where uh, adapt, uh, global events is happening. So COVID is only a trigger. And, and businesses tend to focus on the COVID effect to plan their long-term risk strategizing. I think that's another thing that we want businesses uh, uh, ought to look at. In terms of the question regarding whether financing houses are lending to the wrong sector, uh, etc. I think they are like any other business. Uh, they tend to be too conventional. I think with COVID, the biggest lesson is that businesses must learn to be very unconventional. Mm -hmm.